So I want to start off with um, saying this this is my own personal ghost story um, that I have um, kind of been experiencing for the past several years in my house. Um, it kind of started um, before my mom passed away. Some of the weird things that would happen. Um, voices, you know, in my room or weird sounds or uh, lights and stuff, you know, off and on. Um, well, in particular time, my mom had a nurse and she she called me and she was like, hey, um, so we were sitting here and your kitchen table chair flipped over and slid in the living room on us and we were freaking out. And I told her, I was like, stuff happens here sometimes. I wouldn't worry about it. It's nothing dangerous. And I reassured her and she, you know, she was like, well, I hear stuff in your room talking and this, that. And at that time, I didn't think too much of it. Uh, you know, because we, I was kind of used to having things go on. Fast forward a little later, 2016, my mom gets sick, and she passes away from the illness. So, I'm just going to give a rundown. I don't think that whatever is going on is, is my mother. I'm not sure what, what it is. Um, also, it seemed to kind of maybe pick up a little when we remodeled some of the house. Uh, so, I'm just going to kind of give my opinions on this. Um, because at the time, I didn't think nothing of it. But I was, I was, I'm not going to get into the whole story. I'm just going to kind of give you a rundown of the things that has happened. Uh, so, basically, I was going to my room one day. And, and I'll give you the layout of my house. Uh, you got two, two, two uh, doors. One faces, one the main door faces the front road. And then there's a door on the side, which is the one we use. If you go through that door... You go into the den, and then you're into the kitchen. And then it's a straight shot all the way down the hall to my room. So I was walking down the hall, and all of a sudden it sounded like somebody was running after me, like stomping, stomping. And I have the type of floors that, you know, if somebody is stomping around, you can definitely hear the, the distinct sound. So, of course, I turn around, and, you know, nothing. I'm not sure what to think of it at that point. I kind of overlooked it. Uh... Then, so, we have um, an alarm on the house, and it tells you when somebody goes in and out the doors and stuff like that. Uh, so, one day, uh, the alarm goes off telling me that the side door is open, and I just assume my dad's home. Dogs are barking, and they go kind of crazy, and I go in there, and nobody's here. The door is open, though, but it's still locked. And I, the first thing I thought was, well, maybe he didn't shut it all the way. You know, and the wind blew it. So I went make, make sure it was shut and latched, locked. Couldn't come back open. Or so I thought. Um, a few minutes later, uh, it happened to me again after I'd gotten in my room and stuff. It happened again. Sure enough, go back. This time the door's further open this time. And I am confused as to what this is. So I just brush it off. And uh, needless to say, within about 10 more minutes, it happened a third time. And at that time, I knew something weird was wrong, right? And like I said, as I spoke earlier, it's not something to me that's harmful. It's more of like saying I'm here, I'm bugging you, you know. Um, so the dogs, they have a habit of just barking at nothing. And I noticed that one of my dogs in particular likes to sit in the kitchen on his on his hinds like somebody is petting him and you can see his fur moving and he's wagging his tail and it's like he's being petted it's it's very strange anyway with that being said um we've had stuff you know move around on the table we me and my dad witnessed it while we were eating one night hit some of his diabetes supplies pick, picked their stuff up like levitated and just slammed into the fridge and, and I, I'm, I'm curious as to, and of course my dog's are barking in the background, I'm curious as to um, what other people may have experienced in their homes. I'd love to know in the comments. This is just kind of like a quick one. Um, I'm debating if I want to kind of do narrations. I, I think it's kind of cool. I don't know. Some of the stuff is kind of like out there. And I don't know if I believe it or not. But um, So, you know, that's some of the stuff that I've had happen to me at my house. 
and this isn't the only time I have experienced like paranormal activity um more of a uh, uh, actually a scarier situation years back at my ex-parents house it was very haunted but this was no joke this was something was there and I don't know what it was it was not good by any means but I finally refused to stay there anymore you know covers get jerked off everybody trying to sleep just footsteps cold spot you name it all of the classic paranormal evidence stuff anyway so let me know does anybody want to hear these stories if you do I will leave a link in the description to submit me your story and I'll read it on video um, I read it and do a, a, a video on, on this if I can get several up to do and uh, we'll go from there I, I do enjoy reading some anything like that really but anyways thank you so much for listening um, and I'll put some sort of a picture up I'm not sure I may leave it blank I don't know anyways guys thank you so much for listening leave a like comment scrap you know, all that jive you know you know the drill man you know the drill but anyways i'll catch you guys on the flip side i hope everybody has a good labor day stay safe out there man watch them watch them jakes man and them them sobriety checkpoints you hear me but anyways all right peace out